joining Lloyd at Poppy Productions today. We're just gonna show really how manipulative before and after pictures can be. How much they can be skewed, how much they can be altered, what we can do with lighting, what we can do with positioning, kind of how disillusioned people can become with social media and all the body images that are out there. So it's, it's that time seasonally, I think, where lots of people will be reminded about how they should be possibly changing the shape of their body, the sun's out, possibly feeling a bit insecure about their body. I've done no prep for this. I've exercised as normal. I haven't calorie tracked. I haven't done steps. Again, this isn't really about my body, but just more that we're gonna take me from where I am now and the master is gonna show us what we can do. I do a lot of uh, video retouch, a lot of time for beauty and makeup. Um, but basically, we're gonna soup up Dan's pictures within an inch of its life. Um, <laughs> basically, uh, anything we can do, we're gonna do to it. We're also gonna um, take the before picture and knock that back a little bit. Everything is gonna be slightly manipulated just to help the picture. So we've got a good contrast between before and after. So I'm not even gonna look like myself, basically. That, that's the whole the gist of it. Even more like Superman. <laughs> and, <laughs> and, and basically, just to highlight how manipulative these things can be, body image is something, a huge point of fascination for me, a lot of the people that I work with, but it has knock-on implications to negative mental health. Body dissatisfaction in teenagers at an all-time high. Children as young as four are talking about going on diets and you know, as an adult that doesn't really know how to navigate the social media space, as someone that would consider itself a little bit more informed than most, I have no idea how we teach our children to become more aware of these. But this is a bit of a social experiment, um, and I'm hoping just a bit of transparency here. You'll get some insight in what, to what a lot of people do to get your hard-earned cash. Stay tuned, we'll keep you updated. So what we're gonna do is we'll set up for the before picture. We're gonna evenly light it, so there's like no definition, no shadows on your rippling muscles. Um, we're gonna pose it terribly. We're gonna have you very front on. We're gonna do white background for both, we've decided, because we can manipulate like the surrounding shadows to kind of give you a more of an outline as well. We're also gonna change the lighting so it's more top down, which uh, as they say, you know, that's what they do in changing rooms to make people feel good or not. So this will be the before look, and then we'll manipulate a second look. Check in with you in a bit. She's fighting the urge to get a good picture, that's the problem. <laughs> so we're gonna now change for the after picture, and we're gonna just make it so it's a very much more contrasty lighting system. Um, we're gonna bring this light even further above as far as it comes out. We're gonna probably have more light on one side um, and no like up lighting so much. And that way you kind of have that down, downward lighting that creates shadows in all the abs that I'm pretending I have, but they're there. Uh, and yeah, it should make the photo a lot more muscular. Cool. All we've got really is a nice, soft, but focused uh, down light here. And then we've got a, um, a quite a wide, soft light as well here. Basically just fills in a little bit, gives definitions and the highlights. Um, but yeah, that's what it is. We think the pictures are looking quite good off the bat. We'll go and stick them in Photoshop, have a little play. So, um, well done. I know it's not easy. <laughs> um, I said to you both, did I look as awkward as I felt doing it? No, but the thing is, what feels like a an unnatural pose sometimes actually looks a little bit better sometimes, I think. Yeah. You get it a lot with female posing and stuff, like arching the back and, you know, like um, make your butt look bigger. Yeah, Let's see, we didn't make you do that one. <laughs> Nine out of ten at least. Thanks. Thanks, I'll yeah. take that. We'll have you back. No, I just want you to be like a, a truest representation from a without all the other manipulation that people do, the lengths they go to with photo shoots. I kind of spoke about the tanning, no oil, like no pump, no water depletion, no sodium manipulation, all the other things that I guess people will see in fitness kind of magazines, just a like for like and based on like for like what you guys can do with your magic and just a bit of lighting and everything else. I was quite surprised the difference the lighting on its own made, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not surprised, but I'm also surprised if you know what I mean. It's an eye opener as well. You can't just throw lights together and mm. like you actually have to think about it. We had a client come in that really wants 
photos um, looking muscular for their website. You can't just chuck two lights in front of them and be like, yeah, cool, there's your pictures. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you can't do it all in post as well. Um, you could, there's a lot you can do. Like obviously you can Photoshop anything, like literally anything, but the more you got to make it look natural and real, then the better. But um, I think from what I've seen in, out of camera, they're looking pretty good. Do you want to take us through? These are the before pictures. So we just did like a front on, side on, with super uh, blown out lighting. We started off with just front on shots, super blown out, just to get rid of any definition, but we tried anyway. <laughs> and then, yeah, so these are all the front on shots, and then we started to develop the lighting. So like first pass, we had a top light, didn't we? Yeah. And then like a little bit of fill over here. Posing obviously is a bit of a dark art sometimes. There's poses that are really good for guys. There's poses that change your body shape. If you go at an angle, widen your shoulders to the camera, thin, skinny down your, your waist, then you create that V shape. And that's kind of what we were doing here. We'll take the images, the after images, and we'll probably do a little bit of skin work, probably increase the contrast uh, and contouring, get rid of any loose hairs, stray hairs, any things that don't look quite right. Probably add highlights to the tips of muscles, highlight contouring, as well as shadow contouring. Um, and yeah, like we'll go at it, but out of the gate, looking pretty good. And there we have it. I just thought I'd do a little wrap up video, some self reflections really more than anything. I wanted this to be the truest representation possible. So I'm well aware people can make a bunch of assumptions about my body, the sort of training that I may or may not do, how realistic that would be for them to emulate and what I may or may not have restricted any kind of diet. Look, I can only assure you as far as transparency goes, didn't do any of that. It was just on the spot. And um, I wanted to give people some real insight into what can go on. And this is on the basis that all these guys have really done is manipulated a bit of posturing, lighting, and a touch of Photoshop. It's, it's not really about me. This is the thing I really want to stress with this video. It's just to highlight what can be done through manipulation and how largely people's pain and vulnerabilities leverage with before and after pictures. Not all of them, but possibly some of them and certainly some of the other images that we see in the media where celebrities don't even look like themselves in real life. You know, there are greater lengths that people go to and a long time they spend doing those things as well. So when you expose all these messages on social media, any kind of media, uh, in terms of appearance ideals, and what are <laughs> how some people don't even look like themselves it may be you know men receding hairline filling that out it may be women making look more voluptuous full of lips larger breasts men with six packs broader shoulders all of these things that we kind of epitomize as the health ideals second guess it question it so if this can give you just a tiny bit of insight like a little bit of healthy skepticism in how to judge and decipher to what people may or may not look like in real life or what's realistically possible you know that that is essentially what I want to achieve with this video so sometimes what we're exposed to isn't even a true reflection of what it says or it appears to be we should question those things with a healthy level of skepticism and again just appreciate and understand that our body although part of our identity is a facet of that there's so much more to us than just our appearance anyway I hope you've enjoyed it would love to hear your feedback pop it in the comments and yeah let's have a chat about it